this is a quick tutorial on how to install Dropbox on a Windows computer. So if you are familiar with my website, it's coredatarecovery.com. If you go to the website, search for Dropbox, you can read the article on how to install it on Windows or Linux or the Mac. So this is uh, how you do it. Go to Dropbox, just click on the logo. create an account. You click install. Click free download. In this case I'm using Google Chrome so it comes up and asks if I want to save the file so save it. I'm going to pause it while it downloads. Okay, the download is completed. We're going to double click Dropbox. And it takes a couple seconds because it's pretty good size. Run install okay so there's Dropbox I already have a Dropbox account if you signed up, you will already have a Dropbox account. If you don't, go back to my website. Click on the Dropbox icon if you would. Next, email address. I'm going to pause it and put in my credentials. I clicked Next. And then I've got a 2 gigabyte free account or 50 gigabyte account. I'm just going to leave it on the free account for right now. Typical advanced. You usually want the typical settings, so hit install. This tells you a little bit about Dropbox. In this case, the Dropbox is a folder in my documents in Windows XP. Next. And it's showing you that you can go to the website and log in, and you can get to your files from any computer, which is kind of cool. There's a big green arrow pointing out the Dropbox is flashing in the corner. This shows you where it is, so next. And you can right click in a shared folder and then share this folder if you wish with colleagues. So open my Dropbox folder linked to Dropbox. So if you go to my documents, you get a Dropbox. There's really nothing in here yet because it hasn't synchronized. So I may have to go to advanced settings on this, but normally you just go into Dropbox and your Dropbox folders in my documents. So that's how you install it in Windows XP.